Hey everyone and welcome back to my Scouter soldering series. Have fun! Today I want to show you how I soldered a speaker to a Max 98357 amplifier and how I connected it to the ESP32. Additionally, I will solder the button which controls the Scouter with the ESP32. At first I wanted to try if the other speaker which I had removed from an old notebook isn't broken. but unfortunately it sounds bad and I think it might be broken. I tried to wiggle with the wires a bit to maybe better the quality but with no success. Therefore I will use the speaker I had from start, also from the same notebook. Why does it sound so bad? Oh, just a loose wire. Let's stick it back in. And now it sounds much better. The speaker also has the perfect size and it fits perfectly into the hole of the old speaker. Now I'm preparing the ESP32 with the needed wires for the amplifier. I will show where I soldered them later in this video. Let's get rid of the other screen for the moment. It is a bit irritating. Now it's time to desolder the old amplifier connections to the breadboard. Let's move on and remove the blue 2 pin terminal to save some space and it also allows me to solder the speaker directly to the amplifier. First plus pole and then the minus pole for the speaker. Here I lost a bit of the video because my device stopped recording, but everything I did was to solder the LRC from the amp to pin 25 to my ESP32. Up next is bit clock or B clock, which will be connected to pin 26. Here I made a little mistake because I thought this was gain, which I will ground, but it was D in, data in, and D in should not be grounded. 
but rather connected to pin 22. Now it's time to ground gain and also connect ground to ground. Last one is V in, which will provide the amplifier with power, and I will connect it to 3V3 pin on the ESP32. Now that everything is connected, let's hear if it still works. Great, it works. Time to make some space to be able to solder the button. This was a bit tricky because I also needed to connect a 1k ohm resistor to the ground. I did this by soldering the resistor to the tip of the wire and attached the bundle to the button pin. Now connect the ground wire to the resistor and the first part is done. Complete the button, solder the red wire for power. Now I just soldered the loose yellow wire to pin 21 and everything should work again. To make sure it really works I connected the power and ground pins to the breadboard because it makes testing the system easier at the moment. The button works like a charm and the mode can be switched easily. Let's see if the speaker also works. Great, it works. As I turned the speaker, I realized that I need to put some padding into the speaker hole of the scouter, so that the speaker don't make contact with the plastic while moving. Looks a bit boring without the audit screen, but it works. That's it for today. Next time I will do some wire management, combine the power lines and ground lines and I will also show you how I soldered the OLED driver. Thanks for joining me on today's soldering adventure. Until next time, bye.